men, unfortunately, when we talk about confidence, many men are lacking confidence today. You know, we're dealing with a different species of men, and it's not a bad sign. It's just you have to be aware of it, is that there's a kind of reversal going on between the sexes these days, which is as we gain a higher sense of consciousness and awareness of who we are as people, and as our individuation process increases, what happens is men become more aware of not just their masculine energies, but their feminine energies as well. And women, as they grow in consciousness, become more aware of their accessing their masculine qualities and masculine energies, as well as their feminine. So in a sense, we're, we're more whole than we've ever been. We have access to both sides of us and, and more primitive environments. Men were sort of just all masculine, women were all feminine. But now we have more of a balance within ourselves. But when we're stressed, now that we have access to the feminine, men tend to go too far to their feminine, just as women can relate to going too far to your masculine side, feeling independent but end up feeling alone, not being able to connect back to the softer, tender side of you. So times have changed and we both need to feel masculine and feminine, but our challenge is for men to stay more in the masculine as their feminine comes forth. They have to be even more of a man, so to speak. And for women, as they access their independence, their confidence, their competence, their ability to make money, their ability to you know, have education, all of those qualities strengthen the masculine side of you. Your feminine side has to be even stronger. And, and that means the ability to appreciate the ability to forgive the ability to accept the ability to ask for help and asking for help is to receive you know the art of receiving is what women have to focus on and you're so good now at the art of giving okay you've spent thousands Mm -hmm. of years learning how to give but now the art is how to receive and and you know when you're more competent in the work world you have a lot more to give but that the challenge is coming back to receiving and we can talk more about that Yeah, I'd love to talk more about that. One thing that really struck me so much here, John, and thank you so much for sharing so generously, one thing that really struck me is that it's important to recognize that for a man to really develop those romantic feelings for a woman, um, we need to give him that opportunity to feel those testosterone boosters that you were talking about and for him to feel like what he has to give or what he has to provide is something that is going to be received by a woman and appreciated by a woman. And one of the challenges that I know I had and many women have is that we work so hard in a profession, in our professional lives, in our careers, we become very successful and very independent And we get into this environment, and I think this is what you were talking about when you're talking about how some of the um, roles were changing and how more women are in the masculine and more men are are in some feminine energy. But we get into this very independent uh, mode, this very results-oriented mode, which might serve us really well in our careers or in our professional lives, but it doesn't necessarily always work so well in our romantic lives. You hit it right on the nail, nicely, nicely said. And, you know, just this whole idea of needing romantic support, um, ironically, men don't know how to do this, and men never knew how to do this. They know how to do it, you know, sometimes in the beginning of relationships, but they tend to, it wears off very quickly, and then after they've been in a few relationships, they kind of go, well, that didn't last, so why even go there? So I'll say that, you know, that happened to me, <laughs> which is I'd been, went overboard being romantic in a few relationships that didn't turn out. And I think, uh, you know, at a certain point I went, why even bother? It doesn't turn out. So you kind of, mm-hmm. men start getting a little stingy with that. They don't realize that one of the greatest gifts they can give women today is to do things that a woman will feel are romantic. And why is romance more important today than it's ever been? And that's simply because... When you're more on your masculine side, you need to become more feminine. One of the most feminine experiences is romance for a woman. You know, romance is anything he does that says you're special, you're number one, I'll take care of you. And in a sense, they're like little rituals, like I'll open the car door for you. And certainly you can open the car door yourself, 
but to have somebody open it for you makes you feel special, allows you to relax more, and it's really nice. And, mm-hmm. and you kind of have to, it's an awkward thing because you go from being the CEO or the boss and I'm in control and I can do everything myself, I do everything, to, oh, isn't it nice to have someone do something for me? And that's the way of looking at it. Oh, it's so nice for you to organize this for me. And, you know, one of the things we have to what we have to sort of uh, make romance practical and realistic is we have to look through some of our illusions. The the romantic illusion, kind of the fantasy that can never stand up to reality, is that a man's going to know what you want, know what you like, and do it for you without you having to know and without you having to ask. Mm-hmm. So it's ironic that, and again, it's a, kind of an irony, is that women think that he's supposed to know, but actually, practically speaking, he can't. And the second thing is, if you let him know what you like and you even ask for what you want, um, it doesn't kill the romance once you become comfortable doing that. But there's sort of this uh, Disneyland romantic idea that he's going to just be a mind reader and know. And it certainly doesn't seem to be as romantic right away. But when he actually does it, does what you'd like for you, uh, it starts to stimulate the hormone oxytocin in high amounts which is the romantic hormone. And one of its attributes is when you feel a man's being romantic, this hormone oxytocin gets produced in a woman. And that that's what women need more of, as well as estrogen. When you're kind of like looking to a man to do it for you, that stimulates estrogen. And if he actually does it for you, or you anticipate him doing it, then that stimulates oxytocin. And oxytocin and estrogen combined make you very happy. Whenever a woman is stressed, either her estrogen levels are low or her oxytocin levels are low. Whenever a woman is happy, her estrogen levels are rising, her oxytocin levels are, 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 are at a good, healthy level. So there's, uh, the, you need these two hormones. A- estrogen says, I need someone, I depend on someone. And, and oxytocin says that someone is here. <laughs> so you're right. getting what you need. 